IPXs. We're here at Computex 2025 and a whole new type of PCB substrate is upon us. This is made of sort of plant fiber, something biodegradable that is water soluble. So right at the end of the life, you can shut this thing to maybe a cup of water or something similar and have a solution that doesn't clog waste streams for years. This might just be the future. Let's go talk to GV Materials. Let's talk about what your substrate is. Let's start, what is it made of? So, this is actually made of natural fibers, a biodegradable polymer, phosphorus based flame retardants, basically all nice stuff, better stuff for the environment that won't be as impactful um, at the end of life of a, a electronic product. Right, okay, you say fireproof? Yeah, fire, yeah, fire yeah we, have, we have the same rating, flame proof rating as FR4. Okay. Um, so, very, 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 very easy to actually switch out for the incumbents. Great, okay. New PCB substrate. What do we need to know? How does this compare to FR4? Um, so, I mean, the short answer is to look at our data sheet, but, <laughs> um, but I think um, really we are a slot in replacement. It can be processed through an existing PCB factory. Um, the whole point of this product is that it was designed from the bottom up to be a slot in replacement in terms of the processability um, yep. and be as close to the properties as the likes of FR4 as, as possible. Right. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's been our, our whole vision all the way along is to make it as seamless as, as possible. You're saying if I'm going into, uh, you know, say I want to design with a new substrate and is there anything I need to consider going in or it really is just a drop in replacement? I'll just send my files over as normal and I can use something yeah. like this. Yeah, um, so Obviously, we're, we're still developing the technology. We're currently at a two-layer plated through-hole technology level. Yep. Um, we are developing the material, so we've now got thinner material, which is allowing us to um, build the stack up to actually get to a multi-layer at some point uh, very soon. We're hoping by the end of the year um, to actually get to that technology level. Um, I think in terms of the, the, mo the most common and the standard PCB fabrication processes, it's, it's all good. Gold finishing, standard gold finishing, we're still working on optimizing, but uh, we do have other environmentally friendly options for gold finishing, which um, are complementary of our technology too, which we're exploring. Yeah, cool. What this PC is made of, is this secret source? Can you tell us what this is designed <laughs> using? Um, so we have jute, jute, we have flax, um, but we can use basically any type of natural fiber, cellulose fibers. Mm -hmm. um, we also switched out the epoxy resin for um, a biodegradable polymer. It's a thermoplastic instead of a thermoset. Um, so that's, a, that's something else that we should consider in the manufacturing processes that thermal excursions uh, we might need to be a bit more conscious of. Um, so soldering for example and assembly we tend to use low temperature solder so we, we drop the soldering temperature down from 170 uh, to, to 170 from 265. Yeah. Um, that is becoming more common anyway in the industry and uh, it actually has secondary benefits downstream in terms of the environmental um, and the, the carbon uh, footprint reduction. So that will reduce the carbon by 40% for the assembly process as well. Wow, awesome. This sounds like a great product. So it's environmentally friendly. It is a drop in replacement for most substrates or yeah. all substrates typically. Why isn't this already mainstream? What's going on? <laughs> it's been Have you got cyanide in it, or what's, what's the story? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, um, it's, been, a, it's been a long journey. Um, I, I invented the material back in 2017 at, at university. Um, I don't have an electronics background. I started in architecture, moved to product design. Mm -hmm. um, I was given a brief to actually choose a waste stream to try and optimize. Yeah. Um, I'm not a materials scientist or engineer, uh, but I just saw the problem. I think everyone's aware of the um, obsolescence in terms of the products now and the shorter lifespans. Um, but all the way through, it's taken time to get industry recognition and acceptance and, and find our place in the market. So as you mentioned, there's all types of different substrates and, and PCB laminates out there. You've got ceramics, you've got PTFEs, like flexible. Um, we, we found our, our niche and our a nice spot in the market in terms of where we are compatible and we have the the most impact um, in terms of the environmentals as well so um, I think it's just taken time to get our, our yep. message out there find our sweet spot mm -hmm. um, and we're now making good traction with with OEMs and electronics brands great so is, is the end goal to sort of be available on PCB wage LCPCB like these big design houses is that where you want to see this eventually um, I, I think 
As I mentioned, we're talking to the OEMs mainly because yep. they're the ones who make the decisions. They're the ones who have the ESG targets um, that are representing the consumer. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're trying to get our, our name on on the design, on the specification for yep. the PCB. So you can see on here we have Jiva Soliboard on there, mm -hmm. and that's that's what we're that's hoping to get right there. get on the um, on the actual bill of materials as well. That's that's what that's our mission. Beautiful. And I think I'm on to it. I think what they're not telling me is this must be sort of five times the cost or something. <laughs> I mean, that could be the only reason this isn't already used in all of the designs. How much is it really? Five times, 10 times, 15 times? Higher? Lower? <laughs> lower, 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 lower. Um, 10, 10 to 15% at the moment at the scale that we're currently producing the material. But, but long term, we're looking to, to be equivalent to FR4. Equivalent. Yeah. Do you think you can have to be cheaper even? Well, that's a difficult one. <laughs> it depends. The price changes all the time on, on the incumbents, but uh, I think it, the, the benefits that we bring to the OEM, we're, I think uh, they're willing to, to work with us a bit. Um, but we can't be five yeah. times, as, as you're saying. We have to be very, very similar, and, and that's a, a trade-off that they're not willing to sacrifice on too much. They like green credentials, but they, yeah. don't, want, they don't want five times the cost. Yeah, definitely. And the consumer doesn't either, because it usually gets passed along to the consumer. Yes, completely. Yeah, yeah. So what kind of engineer are we trying to market this to the most? Is it the RF engineers? Is it the low frequency? How does it go with power as well? Is, it, is there a voltage rating that you have on your 1.6 millimeter? Or what kind of engineer um, is going to use this and find the most benefit in it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, our, our electrical properties are, are very similar to FR4. Our yeah. thermal properties are pretty much the same as FR4. Mm -hmm. RF, um, our thicker material up until now was about twice as lossy as FR4, so yep. um, that sounds like a lot, but it means that we are still compatible with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth applications. Yes, definitely. Um, and as I mentioned, we're, we're actually making thinner material now, so I've got a, a 0.4 millimeter piece of material here, which will hopefully allow us to improve upon those RF properties too. Amazing. This is what IPX is all about. It's upon, it's about stumbling upon, or not stumbling, but it's about finding companies that are doing something completely different, something that's going to change the industry forever. I can see a future in 30 years where not every single PCB that you have is fiberglass. At the end of the day, that is harder to recycle. It's, it's more difficult. And if we're aiming to fix our waste stream problem, something like the solution that Juve Materials has might be exactly what the future is looking for. Jack, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Great talking to you.